This video is a Google Places and local marketing review for a furniture store in Oakland, California. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how this business can increase their visibility with local marketing, drive traffic to their website, generate sales, and do it without any extra effort on their part. Hey John, this is Tim McGarvey and I've been looking at your Google Places profile online here and I want to talk with you in this video about how your Google Places performance ties directly into your website. You know, they're closely, closely related and they greatly affect your uh, search results uh, especially for local searches as it relates to your furniture store. So what I first did was I put in a search here into Google for furniture store in Oakland so I wanted to see where uh, your Google Places profile, where it's currently ranked. So this is the the first page here, and I didn't see your your profile here in the in the top seven. So when I went up here in the toolbar over to Maps, and I clicked on Maps, this shows the whole list of all the uh, the the rankings here for a furniture store in Oakland. And as I scroll down uh, the list over here, so here it is right here, and it's at position um, 32. So let's talk about your first, your Google Places uh, profile. So here's your profile uh, right here. And looking at your uh, categories here, see that the categories that you have listed are interior design, furniture store, Amish furniture store, mattress store, furniture maker, bedroom furniture store. So this is a, a list of them here. And immediately the first question that I had is about the use of one of your categories here of interior designer. Now I see that you have one, two, three, four. There's six categories here. So I'm going to guess that you did not select interior designer, but that uh, the Google search engine um, categorize your company as interior designer. So we can talk more about that in a little bit. So what I want to talk about uh, here in looking at your categories is how to select the right categories for Google Places. This is super important in terms of how uh, Google determines the rankings uh, for your profile. And what I suggest is that you think about first the, the type of business uh, and then you distribute uh, the type of business, the services, and the products through the five categories that you have to select from. So maybe one or two of your categories would relate to the type of business. Uh, another one of your categories could relate to the specific services that you provide. Uh, and maybe the other two could relate to uh, the best-selling products that you offer, the most profitable products that you offer, very specifically. You probably know what those are. I don't know if that's a mission style of furniture or if that's uh, green furniture. You would have to uh, tell me a little bit more about that. And then you take a look at the search volume, all right, which is super important as well. So I took the search terms that you have right now in your categories, and then I took a look at the search volume to help determine the order in which you should have these categories set up in your Google Places profile. So quickly we see here that furniture store the the blue line here that that has the most search volume in the uh, California in all metros in the Cal California area uh, you know I noticed down here too this might be interesting to you that there's there's more online interest in Phoenix than there is in Los Angeles so if you're looking to sell furniture online in Phoenix or if you're selling furniture online maybe you want to look at Phoenix don't know I just noticed that but you're so the the order of the categories here would be furniture store you would want to be your first category followed by the tan line here which is mattress store again this is based on the five categories that you've selected okay so then we'll go back and Look at your your Google Places your profile here. Here that you have interior designer as number one, so you may want to change these around, which actually makes sense with Rockridge Furniture uh, and Design. You might want to pay attention as well to your Google Places report that you get every month. 
So th this is super important and you can make changes. So you can try out it, uh, a different category for a month and see how that draws traffic. It doesn't cost you anything. So it's fun. I find it fun to experiment with that a little bit. And in terms of uh, changing these, I try to change out the categories until I have categories in there that are good, that are getting good numbers and traffic every month. You know, the, the listings for Google Places and the, the top seven uh, businesses that get listed on the front page of Google for the local directory placement, it's not just about the profile that you create. It's also closely related to your website. If we go back and we look at the results here on the front page for a uh, furniture store in Oakland, you see that the listings that the top seven listings here, that this is a combination of the website that you see here as well as the place page. So it's both of these together that Google is looking at to determine this ranking. So we also have to look at the information that's on your website as it also relates to your Google Places profile. So let's take a quick look at your website. Here's your website. So I went to your website and then I took a look at the source for your website, which shows the description and the keywords that you have on your home page. We see here that your the categories that you have, your Google Places profile, and the keywords that you have are very different. To really improve the performance of your Google Places profile, you want these to be closely synchronized. Before you start to distribute the information about your company to all the local directories, you really want to synchronize the keywords and your categories first between your website and Google Places. So get this right and distribute the same information all over the internet and you'll get great rankings for the five categories that you that you describe right here in your Google Places categories. Sync that with your website, distribute that all over. Also want to look at the description that you have too from your website. The, the description on your website is California mission style furniture and quality green interior design in Oakland. All right. However, the, the Google Places description is very different. So again, we want to sync these up and you want these to very closely relate to the categories that you have in your Google Places and the keywords on your website. Now I took the, I went back to your Google Places profile and I took the categories that you have there and I wanted to see what your rankings online were for your URL and those keywords. And when I searched Google, only one of them shows up and that's Amish Furniture Store. So this is something that you really want to pay attention to. I have a feeling that if we looked at your web logs from your website, that we would get a really uh, good idea of which keywords are already driving traffic to your website. Those are ones that we want to come back to and we want to look to see what the traffic is, find the keyword phrases that are generating the most amount of traffic and that most amount of people are searching for online. So tie that with the number of searches online, plug that into your Google Places categories and I think that your Google Places, uh, the ranking will increase uh, and you'll get much better results. By syncing up the descriptions, the keywords and the volume search traffic from your website and your Google Places and your local directories that you are about to distribute all your information to will radically change your local search results. Even if you start out at a place where your rankings are as low as, you know, like say two or 300 or possibly even non-existent. I want to show you a couple uh, quick screenshots here. Look at this. This is from one client that we worked with and when we started working with them, their position was all the way down for their main keywords around 300. This particular keyword here is at 304. It took about four months, but after four months they're up here number five and this is in a very, very competitive market. So even if your, your market is super tight, you know in furniture stores, fairly competitive, uh, you can still get results in a short period of time. Here's another one of their keyword phrases. They started at 
at, down here at position 271. And you can see that here in a very short period of time, we had them up on the front page of Google, right? In the top 10 in a short period of time. This, for, this page here is for their number one search term. They started out at 304, got them all the way up. This shows them at number five, but actually they ended up at number two. So when you combine the information from your website and Google Places, you synchronize this information with the local directories, the results are dramatic. You can get ranked very high in very competitive markets. Okay, so again, this is about more than just generating traffic. You want to generate traffic that's going to come to your website, but to ultimately you want to be able to capture that traffic and to convert it into a sale. Hey John, if you want to check out the case study, it's right here on my website. If you're on the website now, just go up to the top of the page and click on uh, the page that's titled Case Study. Um, if you want to give me a call, my phone number is 646-435-0119 or you can send me an email, tim at timmcgarvey.com. And hey, thanks for watching this video.